Let's move on to standard form. If you didn't get a good grasp of indices, please do revisit that topic. In standard form, we're going to focus on three main subtopics – positive powers, negative powers and calculating with standard form. Let's start off with positive powers. Let's take this example. 3 times by. We notice that the index is positive. So 3 times by means that 3 times by 1000 is 3000. This can all be written in standard form. Next, let's move on to negative powers. 3 times by 10 minus 4. This means we have to add a decimal point to the end of the 3 and move back 4 spaces so that we get 0 0.0003. According to the number next to the negative sign on the index, that's how many spaces we take the decimal point back. Let's move on to calculating standard form equations. Take this example. 5 times by 10 to the power of 9 times by 3 times by 10 to the power of 7. The first thing you must do is collect the like terms. Collect the 5 and the 3 so that you get 5 times 3 in this bracket here and times by 10 to the power of 7 times by 10 to the power of 9. Remember from indices anything with the same base having powers at the top gives one base written with all the powers added together on top of it. So that simplifies to give this answer here. You can work it out simply as before or leave it in standard form. Now you have a firm grasp of standard form, please do revisit any of our other topics to prepare for your exams.